In this video, I'm gonna show you step by step how to make DIY DJ controller. And whether if you're experienced or total beginner, by the end you will have fully functional DJ controller. You don't need special tools or special knowledge. If you can hold soldering iron and follow instructions, you are good to go. Let's prepare tools and parts. You'll need safety goggles, PC or laptop, 3D printer, soldering iron, solder wire, solder flux for paste, wire strippers, wire cutters, fine tipped pliers, tweezers, Philips screwdriver, USB-C cable and glue. From electronic components you'll need one Arduino Pro Micro, 8 push buttons, 4 rotary potentiometers, 3 slide potentiometers, 2 rotary encoders, 3 quarter watt resistors, 10 kilo ohm, 1 kilo ohm and 330 ohm and wires. Make sure that they aren't too thick or too thin, about 24 AWG is perfect. You'll also need 3 programs. Cura for slicing 3D models, Arduino ID for uploading firmware and Mix the DJ software. All of them are open source and completely free to download. You'll find the links in description. And last, download project files. Now it's time for building process. First, we'll take care of 3D printing. Extract your downloaded files and go to the STL folder. Case will be first on the list, because if you want to make the whole controller in one day, I recommend you to print case first and while other parts are printing, you can wire electronics inside the case. For every part, 0.2mm layer height is maximum. Of course you can go lower if you want, but that will only slow down printing. You can use your fastest printing speed for every part, but if something does not print well, try again with slower speed. That can only happen with screws because they are really small. And unless I mention different, use 20% infill. You can go up to 100%, but don't go under 20. For case, we'll need support for USB-C port hole. Select tree support and select touching build plate, because you don't want your support to be printed inside the case. I'll use brim to avoid warping, if you are sure that warping won't happen to you, you don't need to use brim. Brim will add just a few minutes to the print, so better save than sorry. And in case that warping happens, you don't need to throw away your case, it will work just fine, just won't look perfect. For the front panel, we won't need support and brim. For jog wheels, we need support for hole where rotary encoder will go. We'll need two jog wheels, so Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste, and make some space between. Same settings for rotary potentiometer caps, just make four of them. For buttons, we'll need two player pause buttons, two Q, and four performance pads. We'll need support, and I'll use Brim just to secure them in place on the print pad. Caps for slide potentiometers don't need support or brim. Last on the list are screws, use 100% infill and support. And now the hardest and the most time consuming part. My advice is to not hurry, take your time and do it well. Case is tiny and it will have less and less space as you adding components. If you get tired, go rest and get back later. Solder in well ventilated room or use ventilation. Now it's time to put your safety goggles on. First solder pins on Arduino. Black plastic needs to go over the top side. I recommend you to make short pauses, just few seconds between soldering all pins, because if you heat up your Arduino too much, you can desolder its electronic components by accident.
As you see, you can now access Arduino pins both up and down. You can choose when will you use top or bottom pins, but keep in mind that after soldering few components you won't be able to move Arduino anymore and you will be done with bottom pins. Now simply follow the instructions and wire the components exactly as shown. When you solder everything, do not assemble plastic parts, first test your controller. And we go to the software setup. First, we'll need to upload firmware. Just go in firmware folder and open the firmware file. Go here to see devices and now plug in your controller. The new one that pops is your controller. Select it and select Arduino Micro as a board. Then just click upload. To install mapping files, just copy them from the project files and paste them in controllers folder as shown. And to load mapping files, go to the preferences, controllers, select Arduino Micro, load mapping files and select your mapping files. Now test every function before assembling rest. If some parts are loose, you can glue them. Thanks for watching. If you have any question, feel free to ask in comments.